Hello, you're Zen Life. Today we're going to train in gratitude. Now, why would we do that? The things that we pay attention to tend to use up our energy. Our energy is a vital resource for us. So we want to train the mind to move towards things for which we have gratitude. And in order to do that, we need to investigate what we actually have gratitude for. So it's an investigation process and then a development of the strength of continuing to move your energy in that direction. So gratitude, what should we be grateful for? I'd like to offer that if you're watching this, if you have access to a, a device, you have an abundance. You live in an abundance. It may not be an abundance according to your idea of what abundance would look like. In our very competitive, comparative culture, these things get hyper-distorted, which causes a whole other expression of deep suffering. But I want to offer that if you're here, there's an abundance. Maybe investigate that. Investigate things for which you have gratitude. And then in the practice, we develop it. We develop a strength of that. And then we take these things off of the cushion and out in the world and continue to redirect our thinking and our energy and our experience towards this gratitude. And that develops an ongoing process of feeding the gratitude, developing it, experiencing it, and so forth. In this way, it's mind training. So we're going to find the breath in the body, follow the breath in the body, and then begin a curious investigation. What am I grateful for? So we'll find out what you're grateful for. Let's begin. Make your way into your posture. You can do this in a chair or on the floor, whatever is available to you. Melt the body, soften the body, section by section, relaxing the face and the jaw and the eyes. If it's available to you, back straight, chin dropped, softening the hands and the fingers, positioning the hands. Softening the legs. And let's set up the view, the intention setting up the view for interconnection, an altruistic view, having set up the posture and the view, begin to bring your attention to the breath. If it's available to you, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. So focusing more and more of your awareness on the experience of breath. Letting go of everything that is not breath. That means when thoughts arise, interrupt you, scheduling, just let it go as gently and softly as you let go of a balloon and then readdress the breath. said that it's a sign of a skillful meditator to have a slight smile on the face so if you notice that this arises organically that's fantastic if you need to set a small smile on the face manually give it a shot 
We're noticing, we're investigating. Allowing more and more concentration to sharpen on the experience of the breath. And maybe in that concentration, notice your ability or the availability of the breath to slow down. Don't let the breath out of your sight. Follow it closely. It's a simple part of the practice, but we can make it complex. We can stiffen up in the body. The mind can get tight. So be aware of these things. And if and as they happen, drop everything and start again. We're just focusing on the experience of our breath into the body, out of the body into the body and out of the body. With concentration on the breath in the forefront of your practice, See what happens if you open up some investigation, sense of curiosity. Seeking, discovering, remembering what it is you're grateful for. What are you grateful for? Maybe relationships come to mind. Experiences. Maybe privileges. Luxuries. I'm grateful for Keeping your attention mainly on the breath, an allegiance to the experience of a deep inhale and a complete exhale. And with that, allowing for this investigation, this curiosity, remembering things for which you are grateful. And that perhaps things for which you could be grateful. I'm grateful for.
now let's drop everything, let everything go. No attention on the breath. Closing out the investigation. Relaxing the body one final time. Letting things come and go in the mind stream. No effort to stop or control them. A real openness as we close out. We seal the practice by offering it back out to the world. May all beings everywhere be free from suffering. And may our practice here together today help and contribute to that. I'm grateful for you. Have a great day.